my channel for those of you that are new here my name is Megan and for those that have been rocking with me what's up y'all it is a brand new month we are now in the month of May happy new month I'm gonna be honest I haven't been more excited about a new month since January and January you know it's always like a fresh start fresh beginnings new year and so of course like I get really excited and now that it's May I guess because I know that school is about to let out I just feel like okay we are about to be on a new horizon we're about to get the doggone thing together so yeah y'all it's a new month and I'm super excited about it I don't know if you can tell but I don't know I just feel kind of like renewed I told myself in May that I was getting back to business when it came to vlogging when it came to my YouTube content and so y'all should have just seen a video already post and that was my first video of May and I'm excited that I got it out because I've been holding on to the footage and I'm like okay you're gonna get it out in May May's gonna be different you're gonna do the doggone thing so yes y'all we are actually it's actually Saturday so happy Saturday and we are running some errands like we usually do on saturday probably get a bite to eat because y'all it's like pretty late and usually we leave the house pretty early but by the time we get everything done i'm like okay it's time to eat again so we'll probably get a bite to eat i'm with my girls um they're not in the car right now because i was like i can't record with them in the car they always want to talk so i'm with my girls and i'm with my mom but yeah let's get these errands popping finishing up my devotional and um oh lord i went hit for real for real <laughs> yes i was like emotional i was like oh my goodness so today i was like okay we're gonna wake up we're gonna take a shower we're gonna you know just set ourselves up to feel good and do this in the camera so <laughs> so yeah i mean it's a I started vlogging maybe like an hour ago starting to like you know just get little things hey y'all it's a little later on in the day since the last time you saw me um this morning I did my devotional and when I say that devotional touched home it really did touch home like it really had me in a chokehold because I'm like dealing with that specific devotional and just it was basically stating God's plan versus your own plan and when will you let your plan go and you know gravitate towards what God has in store for you and when I say hit home hit home so of course I got a little teary-eyed and yeah it kind of like set some things in motion for this morning so yes y'all it it really made me stop and do some reflecting and some thinking so much it goes into my whole glow up and what I really wanted to glow up this year and that was one of the things I mentioned before was my relationship with God and how I just wanted it to get back on track and so 
slowly but surely we're getting there and this week i made an intentional i was like okay we're going to be intentional about our prayers and we're going to be intentional about when we do it so definitely um check that off the list and i'm checking off my devotional y'all i've been having that devotional probably for over two years and i have not finished i think it's called like a hundred days of believing bigger or something but you're supposed to finish the devotional in a hundred days which is way less than a year right but i have been having that devotional for a long time and like i'll start i'll stop i start i stop and mainly i'll do the devotional on the weekends when i can kind of like wake up a little slower than during the week and so i need to probably set aside a time at night for me to do it so that way i can finish because by quarter two by the end of quarter two i was like i need to be finished with this devotional so um i'm not even halfway done and i think it's a hundred days not even halfway done so yeah it was it was really put some things into perspective for myself and you know it's very hard to do hard things and it's like I have been struggling back and forth with what I need to do versus what I'm doing. And like, you know how you know what you need to be doing, <laughs> but you steady are like going against it. Well, that's like kind of like where I'm at in my journey right now. And so it's like it takes courage to do hard things. It takes strength to do hard things. And so I'm just hoping by me making sure that I establish my relationship with God or that I strengthen it, you know, it'll be easier for me to do those hard things. But nonetheless, um, y'all, I'm pretty much chilling around the house today. <laughs> I have maybe one errand to do, um, a Target pickup, and then I wanted to run in, in there and go get something else, but it wasn't like something major. But really, I need to pretty much clean up in the house. I clean the kitchen. And so um, I'm washing clothes and so I'm trying to kind of like declutter my space. And the very most important thing is to plan and get my systems back in check when it comes to content. So I'm trying to do that as well today. So today's like really chill, relaxed day. Hey y'all, I am back. Y'all, it's crazy because I went to two places today and I was just like, didn't want to bring my vlog camera because ever since i stopped vlogging i kind of have gotten into the space where i'm like uncomfortable bringing my camera my vlog camera into um like stores or whatever and i was just talking to my friend she was like girl i got over that hump like i just go i walk in the store with my tripod and my camera and i was like yeah at one point <laughs> At one point, I was more comfortable, and I was like, I need to get more comfortable because I know y'all don't want to just see me talking in the camera all the time. So, next vlog, not this vlog, but next vlog, I'm challenging myself to be more open, to be more out there, and hopefully y'all will see a change as well. Comment down below if you're a fellow YouTuber and you... Give me some tips, give me some suggestions on how you navigate bringing your camera in public and not having a whole bunch of, like not caring, I guess. So, um, and one thing is like that really gets me is I know people don't want to be on camera and so that's why I'm like, you know, I know people want their privacy, but I also know that I'm trying to capture content and I'm really not trying to capture them. I'm trying to capture me doing things you know, out and about. But hopefully I'll get better with that. Y'all, right now I need to cook dinner. Y'all, when I say really nothing went as planned today, I was supposed to be content planning, have not done that. I had to, um, first of all, I had to kind of like declutter, which I told y'all I was doing that and I did do that. And then I took on another project, which was to kind of like um, clean out my dryer vent. I have a dryer that vents like out of, out of the roof and that definitely would not recommend it has been more trouble than anything for with that dryer and so um every now and then i have to like make sure that the duck the dryer duck is free of lint and that's what i did and in the process i messed up the um duct attachment that you attach from the dryer to the vent 
messed it up so i had to go get another one went to the store which is about like 15 minutes away and got the wrong one got back home with the wrong one I had to go back out to the store and now the dryer's working <laughs> properly and i have it all installed but y'all definitely tiresome definitely not how I expected to spend this day. I wanted to be a little bit more productive. I guess as I cook dinner, I can work on my content, you know? So, um, yeah, I'm trying to think of that's everything I wanted to share with y'all. Y'all, I'm like, <laughs> I told myself, like I told y'all in the beginning of the day, I was not going to let, um, my devotional, the one that like kind of like had me in a chokehold, I was not going to let that, you know, get me down for the rest of my day. But I'm gonna just say it and be transparent. Like my whole day, I have been down. I have been my whole day. I have been down. I have been emotional, and I hate being emotional, y'all. I really do. Like me, emotional. Hold on. Me emotional is like not really something that happens. And I'm not even going to lie to y'all. The last month and a half, I have been totally emotional, totally out of my character. And I hate that for myself. Like, I know it's okay to cry. I know it's okay to be emotional. I know all of these things, but it is just not my norm. And I don't like that at all so let me get off of here because i don't want to be emotional anymore so yeah let's go cook <laughs> day i feel like this is where we left off the last time like in this spot i don't know i have to go through my vlog footage and see but um today went totally unexpected so i had to go to work and y'all we are winding on down we are in the single digits of how many days are left of school but i was supposed to go to work today and mackenzie we were driving to work and all of a sudden she just vomited all over herself so I was like, had to stop, turn around, you know, get her out of those clothes because it was all over her clothes. And so, yes, yeah, so mommy duties come first. I had to call in. So she's been laying down. I've been doing like housework. And I have also been trying to do my content planning, y'all. Y'all. When it comes to content planning, y'all, I have been so stuck. And I'm talking about for Instagram. For vlogging, it's easy because, you know, I'm just being me. I'm just, you know, there's certain things like I have to plan, like if I'm going to talk about a certain topic or something comes up, but it's so much easier to vlog than it is to plan this Instagram content. And y'all, I have just been just at a block, like a block, a block, a block. Oh, by the way, I did do my nails. I should have recorded it, but y'all, like I told you the last time I talked to y'all, it was such an emotional day for me. I couldn't get on camera. But anyway, um, I did my nails. And anyway, back to what I was saying. It's like a wall is blocking me from thinking of the type of content I want to create or just saying what I want to say on Instagram. And so it's just been like really, really tough. And I sat at this computer for like an hour. Um, one of my friends called and, you know, I visited to him and I was just like letting him know like how it's been. And I was, you know, explaining to him my content pillars and, you know, just everything and how, like, I'm, like, stuck, like, wall stuck. So he gave me some great suggestions. And I was like, you know what? That's a good idea. Because I don't know about you. It is very hard to be motivational when in your real life you are feeling, like, the pressures of being overwhelmed, of being, you know, upset, of being anxious. And so it's very hard for me to just be, like... Yeah, this is what you should do today when I'm feeling the way I'm feeling, you know? So I don't know if that, you know, as a content creator, you get into those 
modes where like I can't be motivational because I need the motivation my dog on itself. And that's kind of like where I'm at right now as I was trying to plan. It's like I need the motivation. So instead of trying to be that motivator, I'm just going to vent. And so I'm thinking like I'm going to take a different approach. And yeah, so if you want to see what, what's about to happen on egg, then you got to go ahead and subscribe. But um, I'm on my way to the gym. I'm kind of waiting for baby girl to wake up. And um, then I'm going to be on my way. And I'm going to take y'all with me today. I haven't taken y'all in the gym in a long time. So I was like, let me go ahead and take the girls with me. I don't know if y'all remember this fit from last time. But this is the fit that I put myself in last year. I was measuring my body and stuff like that. But y'all, when I say major transformation has happened, some major transformation has happened. Recently, a pic came up from last May, and when I say big back, big back, that's how I was looking. I was like, what the world? I can't even believe that was me. So anyway, um, I didn't even know I took that picture, but I'm glad I did because it shows me the progress that has been made for a whole year. And I just can't wait to see what next year brings because I've made some strides and I know if I continue to be consistent, then it's just gonna be great. Like the results are gonna be just chef's kiss. So anyway, y'all, we're gonna go ahead to the gym and um, I'll see y'all there. <music> I was supposed to come back and close out the vlog because yesterday after my workout, I was like, oh, I'm going to close out the vlog. Well, y'all, when I got home, the lights were out and we had like a bit of a storm, but it wasn't to me, it wasn't like bad enough for the lights to be out. And that just really like, uh, it just blows my mind. But anyway, had the storm, got home, it was about maybe 6.30, y'all. When I say the lights have still not come back on and it's the next day, luckily for us, it wasn't that hot outside. Like it's actually cool. It's cool this morning, but y'all, I was just very uncomfortable. So, um, I kept waking up in the middle of the night and sleep was just kept being broken. So I am kind of tired, but, um, they still don't have like a restoration time for our, <laughs> lights and electricity and so yeah we struggling right now we might not stay there tonight because i cannot do that again but anyway me and my other one in the back who is doing the wrong thing we're gonna go get some waffle house and um yeah i'm probably gonna go ahead and close out the vlog thanks so much for watching and i'll see y'all in my next one oh here she comes <laughs> I don't really care to do